Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we're looking at Crazy Envoy. Now, this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to create airdrop events where players can run around, find these airdrops, similar to other games, and in them have different chances of finding various loot. So you might get some money, you might get some enchanted weapons, or you might get some food, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and look at the commands and see what we can do in-game. So if we do forward slash envoy and then help, hit enter, it will show us all of the different commands. Now there's not too many in game, but if we do forward slash envoy and then time, it will tell us how long until the next envoy event happens, so it's in 50 minutes. Then if we do forward slash envoy and then drops, it will give you a location of all the different drops that we've set. And if we want to change that, we can, which is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and do forward slash envoy edit. Now this will put you into the edit mode where you can see all of the different drop locations and you can delete them, add more just by removing the bedrock. And if you want to place it again, you just pop the bedrock down. It is very straightforward and you can put as many as you want, which is really cool. So um, let's go ahead and save it by doing forward slash envoy edit again. That will take us out of the edit mode. So the next command we can do is forward slash envoy center. And what this will do is put a center location where drops can fall around and they can be within 300 to 20 blocks from this location if you set it like that in the config file. And now let's go ahead and do forward slash envoy start. And that's going to start the envoy event. Now as you can see all of the drops start falling from the sky like airdrops and you can see there are different types so there is the normal chest, the ender chest and the enchantment table. Now they are the different tiers uh, which we'll see in the config file a bit later but all you have to do is click it, there'll be a firework and you will get either some money, some items and um, stuff like that. So you can see that there are a lot of fireworks uh, which is really awesome and they even show you where they are every 15 seconds. So you can see we've got a load of random items. We've got a sword with some enchantments, we've got some food, and we've got some golden apples as well. So if you want to stop it, do forward slash envoy stop, and that will stop the event from happening. And then what we can do is forward slash envoy flare an amount such as two, and then my username to give myself a flare. And what this will do is give you another way to start an event. So just pop it down and the event will happen again. Obviously the chests will be randomized this time, so they, they might be the most basic tier or they might be the highest tier, depending on the percentages you set in the config file. So that is pretty much everything in game. We are going to go into the config file now and see how we can change things in there. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel and as you can see in the crazy envoy folder, there are three YML files and a folder. So let's start at the bottom in the messages.yml. This is pretty straightforward. This will show you all of the messages that players will receive in chat. Um, they all look pretty good, so you don't have to mess around with it at all. So if we go back and quickly look at the data.yml, in here, as you would expect, it saves all of the data about all of the spawns um, and when the next envoy is going to be as well. Then if we go to the config.yml, there's quite a few things in here that we can change. So up at the top, we can change the prefix. We can change whether we want falling blocks to be on or, or not, and how high do they fall. Then the max amount of crates, obviously you don't want too many to be spawned because that could potentially cause lag. And do we want random locations? Um, so make sure you set the center like we did in game, and then you can get random locations every time rather than the same. Then you can have min and max radius um, when the crates fall from the center and the Envoy runtime, so it will only last for 5 minutes if you don't stop it prematurely. Then if we scroll down a bit we can have the Envoy cooldown time, so it's an hour, so it will happen every 60 minutes. Um, and if we scroll down even more we can have the minimum players required for it to start and the crate collection cooldown. So do you want there to be a cooldown? If you grabbed a crate you can wait 15 seconds before you can grab another one. Then we have some warnings that will pop up in chat. So when there's 30 minutes, 15, 10 etc. it will tell you there's uh, that amount of time left until the envoy starts. And then finally we have how the flare gun looks or the flare that we pop down and whether World Guard will affect it as well. So that's the general settings in the config.yml, but we can go into the tiers folder to change some things in there. So here are the three tiers that we would have seen in game. If we go into the basic one, we can have a look in here. Uh, so the spawn chance is 85%, so it's very, very high. 
and the block is going to be a chest rather than an ender chest or an enchantment table. Do we want bulk prizes and do we want them to win multiple things, yes or no? And do we want it to be random and the max is three? Then we've got some hologram settings to so make sure you have holographic displays. Then we have information about the firework that we've saw. So it's gray, black and orange and it pops up so you can turn it off if you don't want that. And finally the signal flare, we've got information about that as well. So every 15 seconds it will give you a hint of where the uh, chest is. Then we have the prizes, so this is the main part. So we have the different prizes that can be won and the chance. So prize one, we have a 10% chance of getting $1,000. Number two, we have a 75% chance of getting some apples and then the 40% chance of getting all of these random uh, pieces of food. So if you want to create another one, all you have to do is pretty much copy and paste a previous one. So stick a four there. And if you wanted to change the chance, 5% maybe. And where it says item golden apple, you could take, change this to uh, an emerald, for example. And there we go. You can also change the name, the lore as well. So there's a lot of things you can do like that. And obviously just save it and reload the plugin. And then you will have more items in your basic chest. And then obviously if we go into the Lucky and the Titan, they're going to be pretty much the same. Um, you can see the place block is different, but other than that, um, it's very, very similar. Obviously, the spawn chance is a lot less, and maybe you could change the firework colors as well. So this is gray, black, and yellow. Let's go into the titan.yml, uh, finally, and you can see this one is very rare, 10% chance for the enchantment table to spawn, and this is gray, black, and red. And as you can see down here, we have um, the chance of getting a million dollars, uh, which is pretty cool. So that's the sort of thing you can do with this plugin. It's really awesome. So if you want to download this plugin, feel free to come to the Spigot page, link in the description. Uh, it was updated recently, so yesterday in fact, which is really cool. It's got a lot of information on the uh, Spigot page. If you want a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.